Hey everybody, Dan Bailey here with another Fujifilm tutorial. One year ago this week, I posted my very first YouTube video tutorial here on my channel. It was a detailed look at the Fuji film simulations and how you can use them to maximize your creativity with the Fuji cameras. It's now become my most watched video tutorial here on my channel. So if you're a Fuji user and you haven't had a chance to check that out yet, you can find it here at this link. About two months after I made that video last year, Fujifilm added another film sim to the mix called Classic Neg. This was introduced with the release of the X-Pro3, and it's now found on the X-Pro3, the X-T4, and the X-100V. Classic Neg has become one of my favorite new film sims, and so in this video I'm going to give you a close look at Classic Neg, uh, kind of run through the characteristics of this film sim, and give you some ideas of how you can use it in your photography. Like most of Fuji's other film simulations, Classic Neg was patterned after one of their legacy films. Built to replicate Fuji Color's superior color print film that was introduced back in the 90s, Classic Neg is designed to give you the look of consumer color negative film that was so prevalent in the decades before digital photography took over. In fact, you can still buy superior color print film today. It's still available. In a sense, it's designed to look like snapshots of old, you know, back when we all shot print film and got our photos back in those little envelopes. Or depending on your age, maybe you don't know. For most amateur photographers back in the day, this is what photography meant to just about everyone. So with Classic Neg, Fujifilm dips into their 85 plus year history of, of film and color science, and they give us a familiar but unique look. This new film simulation taps into our color memory with a bold new expression that plays nicely with the already very rich set of film sim choices that we have in the X-Series cameras. The color profile of Classic Neg is pretty interesting. It has a similar strong tonality to Classic Chrome, but it has a slightly richer color palette like those that you see in Provia and the Pro Neg sims. It also has brighter whites than almost all the other film sims, even Velvia. To my eyes, the best way to describe it would be Pro Neg High with slightly brighter highlights, slightly darker shadow detail, and a little bit less saturation. The overall effect is a slightly muted but very high contrast look that again is very reminiscent of those glossy lab prints that so many of us grew up on. Now I'll admit it might not seem so useful at first glance. After all, it's got a higher contrast look but without the bold colors. But this combination gives Classic Neg a very representational style look. And if you've watched some of my other videos, and you've probably heard me talk about the concepts of abbreviation and representation as being very important ideas in the notion of creative photography. In my mind, photography isn't about perfectly reproducing your subject. It's about creating a visual representation of your scene and abbreviating the most prominent strong elements and ideas that are present. Now, the whole idea behind this concept is that you don't want to give your viewers everything all at once. Instead of spoon feeding them every single detail, you want to hold some things back. You want to force them to become an active participant and engage their brains as they try to imagine what you actually left out. You want them to think about what you didn't include in the picture as much as what you did include. It's that whole less is more concept, and whenever you invoke your viewer's imagination, you've gone a long way towards making a successful photograph. So with that in mind, I find Classic Neck to be an incredibly versatile film sim. It seems to work with just about any kind of subject and it produces a cool, timeless look that actually holds a great deal of style. It works really well in the sunshine, but unlike a film sim like Velvia, which has so much contrast, uh, it works better in the shade and under overcast skies. These qualities are accentuated even more when you start adding the color chrome FX blue setting that's found in these cameras as well, especially if you have anything like uh, water or blue sky in your photograph. And it's highly customizable too. I love dialing the shadow tone up or down to play around with the contrast levels, and I also like to cut or boost the colors to create a more bold or more subdued look depending on what kind of subject I'm shooting or what kind of mood I'm going for on my image. A few weeks ago, I was out shooting photos at one of the glaciers, mostly with my X-T3, but at one point I took my X-100 out of the bag to grab a few shots as well. When I looked through the viewfinder, I was blown away by what I saw. After looking at the image, I realized the camera had been set to Classic Neg Film Sim with a minus two highlight tone, minus two shadow tone, and plus four on the color. In addition, the Classic Chrome FX Blue was on strong, and there was a weak grain setting as well. 
I don't even remember what I was shooting before then. I was probably just messing around with the camera controls at home like I often do. But anyway, that's how it was set and it looked amazing. It's that representational look that I was talking about earlier. The color is not 100% accurate, but that doesn't really matter to our eyes. Our brains see beyond that and in our own minds, the picture just ends up looking really cool. And that's exactly what I was referring to in my last video when I talked about the concept of memorized color. That's a testament to how well these Fuji film sims have been engineered. They're so finely crafted. Not every single color recipe looks great, and you can imagine that certain color combinations would just look really bad or just wouldn't look quite right to our eyes, or at least not very appealing. The Fuji colors play so nicely with our brains and with this concept of memorized color. Classic Neg also looks awesome in conjunction with the new clarity setting that's found in the Q menu of those three new cameras, the X-Pro3, the X-T4, and the X-100V. You can crank the clarity up to add nice bold definition to your photo and harder edges, or you can dial it back to create a softer look and reduce the overall contrast in your scene. Since the clarity setting goes from minus five to plus five, you have a lot of leeway for making fine-tuned adjustments and coming up with unique looks for your photo. And when you add in all the other adjustments inside the X-Series cameras, like highlight, shadow tone, and color, uh, it, you just have a huge amount of possibilities for crafting a creative image that matches your own mood and your own vision for the scene. I'll admit that Classic Neg is one of the main reasons I've fallen in love with the X100V and why I've used it so much this year. I love the X-T3. It's still my favorite camera, but it doesn't have Classic Neg. At least not yet. So I'll often take both cameras with me and use them side by side. Given that the X-T3, the X-Pro3, and the X100V all use the same sensor and processor, I don't see any reason why Classic Neg can't be added to the X-T3 with a firmware adjustment. I haven't heard anything official from Fuji on this. Uh, they haven't made any kind of statement, but I'm still hopeful. I'm holding out that they're going to add that at some point. And you can bet that I'm going to keep bugging them to do so. If you've got an older Fuji and you're thinking about getting a new camera, this might be one of the biggest reasons to upgrade to one of those three new models. As you can see, I love this new Classic Neg film sim. It has a wonderfully rich and characteristic look, and it's yet one more tool that we have to craft unique looks and evoke very different moods with our imagery. So much of Fujifilm's legacy is wrapped around color and film, and the film simulations are the extension of this rich heritage in the digital world. I think the film simulations are the lifeblood of the Fuji cameras, and I feel that they inspire a very unique style of creativity. They allow you to choose a color profile and a look that matches your own mood and your own creative ideas for the scene and quickly create an image that matches those feelings you have right in the moment. So if you have an X100V, an X-T4, or an X-Pro3, I strongly encourage you to play around with the classic Neg film simulation. I think that once you figure out the visual characteristics of this new look, uh, you'll find it to be a very fun and very creative and versatile film sim. So I've shown you what I do with it. Hopefully this will inspire you and give you some ideas of how you can apply it in your own shooting. And if you have a Fuji that doesn't have classic neg, then you can kind of get there with this recipe. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you're a Fuji user, please check out my best-selling ebook, X-Series Unlimited. It's almost 400 pages of information and photos designed to help you get the most from your camera and inspire maximum creativity and fun from your Fuji. Also, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your other photographer friends. Please consider supporting me on Patreon at Dan Bailey Photo, and you can also visit my website and blog as well. So thanks again for watching. Have fun with your Fuji, and I'll see you next time.